Okay, good day and welcome to this uh, course entitled Psychometry, uh, a part of heating, ventilating, and air conditioning and refrigeration fundamentals. So just a little background from my side. I used to work as a chief building engineer back in the uh, Philippines in a hospital around 2007. Uh, that was the first time for me to work on actual uh, HVAC systems dealing with design, installation, operation, and maintenance. That time, uh, I also got exposed to the indoor air qualities, uh, local regulations, building efficiency, and standards. Then I moved, uh, I moved abroad in 2008 and worked as a research and development engineer in one of the leading uh, air conditioning and uh, refrigeration equipment manufacturer in the Middle East. There I got exposed to many HVAC uh, equipment, including chillers, package units, heat pumps, uh, cooling coils, air handling units, and so on. While uh, I was working there, uh, I started uh, and finished my diploma in air conditioning and refrigeration. The school is uh, based in uh, USA. And so today I would like to share you my actual experience and knowledge uh, about this uh, particular topic and uh, I hope you will find it uh, useful. So here's uh, our agenda. Uh, first, I will give you some background in history of uh, psychometry, kung saan and kanina nag-originate yung psychometric chart. And then uh, we will review the basic and psychometric chart and air properties. And then uh, we will have some uh, review also in the processes of air that can be represented in, represented in psychometric chart. And then we will do some uh, exercises by uh, in determining the air properties using manually, using the chart, and using different uh, software, including Azure and uh, some free softwares like uh, Technosolve. And then finally, we will have some uh, process calculation. Again, we will do some manual calculation and match it with, uh, match it with uh, softwares like Azure and Technosolve. So uh, most air conditioning design requires the following steps. Uh, first, of course, is that we have, or designers need to have a survey of the entire design to obtain accurate and detailed information needed to estimate the load and specify the equipment. Uh, we are talking about uh, HBAC equip equipment here. And number two is uh, after, the, after the survey, we have to do the load calculation to determine the sensible and latent heat to be removed. And then next of that, process is we have to do some uh, psychometric analysis to determine and specify equipment performance and air flow rate so we are in this uh, step at the moment we are at this stage and then after this analysis then of course we have to match this uh, psychometric analysis with the equipment selection so there we can specify kung gano kalaki yung ating air handling units or fan call units and then we can identify whether uh, kailangan mo ng split unit or um, a package unit. Okay, and then number five, of course, is the layout preparation of drawings and specification for the system. And then finally, you have the installation, operation, and commissioning or testing of the equipment. So just a background in, uh, in history of psychometry. So take note that the science of psychometry started in one foggy evening uh, in 1902. There was a young engineer, Willis Carrier, who was working in a Buffalo Ports company. And during that time, he was trying to solve some uh, problems in a printing company. Uh, it's called the Brooklyn uh, Printer. And uh, there was some uh, issue with the quality of printer, uh, printing, uh, especially during foggy nights. So parang napansin nila, or napansin nitong uh, young engineer, around 20 to 23 years old, si Willis Carrier at that time, he noticed that uh, during foggy evening, the quality of the, of the print is very low because the printer, pagka tumama yung ink dun sa papel, since medyo masa-masa yung papel, nagkakaro nag, na parang nagbablat. Okay. So during that time, he observed na may relationship yung uh, yung humidity as well as temperature. So parang at low temperature, the the air uh, has uh, low holding capacity of the moisture. Okay? So that leads to uh, condensation. So yung discovery niya ng condensation or two-point property leads to the invention of psychrometric uh, chart. So gumawa siya ng mathematical uh, relationship uh, between uh, properties like uh, 
temperature, uh, which has two kinds, uh, meron dry bulb and watt bulb, humidity, relative humidity, and so on and so forth. And uh, after some time, he, he uh, presented this uh, to uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineers. And then uh, because of this study, he was named as the father of uh, psychometry. So uh, kapag ka pumunta ka sa Google and check kung ano yung psychometric chart, and if you go dun sa mga uh, different chart available, so you will find a lot, hundreds of them. Okay, so different kinds. But it shows uh, almost the same properties uh, ng air, starting from dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, relative humidity, humidity ratio, specific volume, enthalpy, and, and, and so on. So by definition, psychometrics is the science that deals with the uh, thermodynamic properties involving dry bulb temperature, relative humidity, dew point temperature, wet bulb temperature, enthalpy, specific volume, and moisture content. Okay, so the chemical composition of dry air is normally composed of nitrogen around uh, 78-79%, oxygen 21%, and then uh, we have argon, neon, sulfur, uh, dioxide. And take note when we say uh, moist air, it is uh, normally composed of dry air and water vapor. 